there's never been a better time to join the world of 3D printing or for experienced makers to upgrade. With the right printer, you can make models, toys, hooks, stands, replacement parts for electronics or a new case for your Raspberry Pi. You can get one of the best 3D printers and plenty of material for well under $300. So consider what you'll be making with it and watch on to learn more. The two most common types of home 3D printers are resin MSLA, masked stereolithography and filament FDM, fused deposition modeling. The best 3D printers for beginners or those with children, FDM printers use reels full of plastic filament that is fed into a hot nozzle and extruded out layer by layer to form a solid model. MSLA printers use a UV cured resin material to form a model layer by layer as it rises from a vat of liquid that requires very careful handling. We have listed the top 5 3D printers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number 5. Creality Ender 3 V2 One of the leading 3D printers for $200, the Creality Ender 3 V2 is a very powerful machine for the price. It can be assembled in under an hour and also features a heated bed. An affordable workhorse 3D printer, the Ender 3 V2 is known for its reliability, churning out part after part without issue. The open printing area means it isn't ideal for tougher filaments like ABS or nylon, but as a PLA 3D printer it works well. The Ender 3 V2 features a number of small but useful improvements on the best-selling Ender 3. The print volume is the same, but the print bed is now carborundum glass mounted on an aluminium bed, improving adhesion and making removing finished prints easier than on the previous magnetic bed. The HD screen is better than the original LCD interface, a small but pleasant quality of life improvement. If you're going to be spending $200 on a 3D printer, you can't expect the quality to be flawless. If you want a Creality 3D printer and you have an extra $200, upgrade to the Ender 3 S1 Pro. Number 4. Anycubic Photon Mono 4K The Anycubic Photon Mono 4K is a major upgrade on the standard Photon Mono, retaining the simplicity of the original while pumping up the XY resolution from 50 to 35 microns to put it in line with the pricier Mars Elegoo 3. This major shift comes courtesy of a pivot to a 6.23 inch LCD pushing 3840 by 2400 pixels. Although the 165 by 132 by 80 mm tails behind the Mars 3's 143 by 90 by 165 mm, it still offers ample space for most resin based home projects and then some. The 1 to 2 second cure time remains identical to the original mono but you're effectively able to produce the same prints in the same time frame but at a higher overall quality. Elsewhere, the 4K jumps to a new 15 LED matrix parallel light source that allows for more uniform light distribution, resulting in richer details. So why opt for the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K over the Elegoo Mars 3? While the Mars 3 offers a sleeker overall printing experience, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K just about keeps in pure specifications and print quality all for $80 less. If you're after that sweet spot between spending as little as possible but still want a reliable quality resin 3D printer, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K hits the mark. Number 3. Elegoo Saturn S The Elegoo Saturn S is a new look upgrade on the standard Saturn, bringing it in line with larger resin competitors like the Anycubic Mono X series. Compared to the standard Saturn, build volume jumps from 192 by 120 by 200 mm to 196 by 122 by 210 mm. This is a slight increase, but these numbers position the Saturn S as one of the larger format printers priced under $500, ideal for printing batches of your favorite high detail figurines. Elsewhere, the Saturn S 4K screen refines the XY resolution to 48 microns, offering a slight jump in fine detail over the Saturn's 50 microns. You could spend a further $200 on the Photon Mono X6K to drop to 34 microns. Still, the differences at this scale are virtually indistinguishable to anyone but the most discerning makers. When compared with the Anycubic Mono X, not the 6K version, 
They have similar 4K screens and resolutions, with the Saturn S having a 4mm larger X-axis and the Mono X with a 35mm larger Z height. So if you want to print taller models, go with the Mono X. They're of similar speeds and have similar connectivity via USB, so it's mostly down to what you plan to print. Do you want to print wider or taller? For wider, go with the Saturn S. For taller, the Mono X. And for a 6K screen, go for a Mono X 6K. Number two, Photon Mono X. As good as the Form 3 is, it's very expensive. Printers like the now sold out Piopoli Phenom brought down the price of SLA printing somewhat, but the Photon Mono X offers an even cheaper entry. Even better, the results are pretty impressive. We found that Photon Mono X created high quality SL prints quickly, despite the occasional printing error. 3D printing enthusiasts will appreciate the large print area, 331 cubic inches. That's particularly impressive given the Photon Mono X's comparatively small size. It's only 18 inches tall and a little more than 11 inches wide, so it will fit easily into a home workshop or similar setting. SLA printing remains a messy, smelly business, but the Photon Mono X helps bring down the cost of this process without forcing you to make too many compromises. Number 1. Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro Creality's Ender 3 S1 Pro is the latest and most impressive iteration of the popular Ender 3 line. Not a cheap DIY 3D printer in need of upgrades like its predecessors, the $479 S1 Pro arrives fully loaded, delivering an out-of-the-box experience that's simple for beginners and powerful for experienced makers. The Ender 3 S1 Pro comes mostly assembled and only took us about 15 minutes and a handful of bolts to put it together. Bed leveling, the bane of makers new to the hobby, is no longer a worry with Creality's CR Touch Probe. This is by far one of the easiest auto-leveling systems we've tested. The list of improvements the Ender 3 S1 Pro has over the humble Ender 3 is massive. It has a Sprite Direct Drive with an all-metal hot end, a PEI coated steel flex plate, a color touchscreen, tension knobs, a storage drawer, a light kit, and even a better spool holder. The S1 Pro also comes with a swappable tool head, allowing you to add the optional laser module for engraving. But all of its bells and whistles wouldn't land the Ender 3 S1 Pro at the top of our best 3D printers list if it didn't also provide amazing output. When we printed a variety of detailed models such as a toy dolphin, a vase and a beckoning cat, prints were extremely sharp with fine lines and little to no stringing. In addition to the great models we printed with PLA filament, we got really strong results when we worked with TPU and PETG filaments. Some green TPU produced lifelike leaves on a potted plant model. So that wraps up our list of the best 3D printers. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up, as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which 3D printer you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helps you in any way, please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.